Hello Pisces rising. Welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in. This reading is a special reading because today is the 12th of January 2020 and today we have the big conjunction Pluto and Saturn and I thought I'm going to use the energies of the day to do readings for you and to see how this conjunction is playing out in your life, how it is affecting your life and to do this you're going to have a look at your rising sign. That's why this video is for Pisces rising. So if you are Pisces rising, this video is for you. Otherwise, just uh, have a look at your rising sign video. And for Pisces rising, the conjunction is in the 11th house, which is the house of friends, your social circle or your colleagues. And um, I have picked tarot cards but I also have done the big Linamore spread that you know already from the last love reading that I did for January 2020. So one thing as a little explanation and why I feel like I want to do the readings is because this is such a big shift. There's a big shift going on in one area of your life maybe also in, in more but basically for you as Pisces rising it is probably more likely to be with your friends and your social circle and um, Saturn and Pluto are at the moment doing something that is not happening like yearly it's it's a really rare thing and it's like ripping down all the old that is not longer serving that is not anymore in alignment with who we are in order for you to be able to build the new on top of it so the old needs to go and the new can be built where there is now new space uh, for the new to be built on and um, what I have picked as the uh, tarot oops I got here those those cards so I do feel like there was a feeling of being oh, can you see that okay so a feeling of being trapped um, but it's kind of like self-made it's a false feeling of being trapped maybe there was a situation where you really was you were worrying and um, but all you could have done already was like shake it all off um, because this person in this deck is really uh, just loosely wrapped in those uh, things I don't know what to say in English <laughs> anyway um, and if this person would just shake it off she could um, walk away and the danger that is behind her it's actually just behind her it's not really in front so she's not really trapped but she has the feeling of being trapped so there's something where some situation where you probably felt like trapped or like you can't really get out of it and where you were a bit overwhelmed and you were worrying and but we have uh, the justice card here so justice is also the karma card but it could also indicate legal matters so maybe this was about a legal matter or something where you have been treated unfair and that's why you felt like this and um, but now there is a balance that is going to be restored and that's beautiful because we have the same thing here because temperance is all about the balance so I do feel whatever you were going through um, again it's related to your social circle of friends there was something that was going on but also there is a balance that is going to be restored now so let's have a look into your Lenormand reading and see how this resonates with the cards of the Lenormand spread all right, Pisces. So what I want to say is that the person that indicates you in the deck is uh, indicated by the female person here. Um, no matter if you are a man or a woman, this is now you, while this card here, if it pops up in the reading, would be your love, interest, ex-partner, future partner or partner that you have at the moment. So what I can see is that you're turning away from blockages and challenges with a friend and there was something regarding communication but you're turning away from this. Um, but this is just a little tiny thing that I included. Uh, what I actually wanted to have a look at is the social circle. So I, I charge the park as your social circle, friends and uh, colleagues. But since I saw you here in the destiny line, I thought I'm going to share this with you as well. So it seems like you're turning your back on some blockages with a friend, something regarding communication. Um, so we have the park here and there is a decision. Um, so th there is a decision regarding your social circle or friends that you are going to make. 
and it is because there were things unclear. There were fears, there were doubts, and there was a complicated situation, um, probably with a female person, but not necessarily. And um, it does feel like it could be related to work because we have the anchor here and also the anchor in combination with, um, I, oh, I always forget how you say this in English, uh, this little thingy here, this sky I don't know. Anyway, so this can indicate a work situation. Um, if it's not a work situation, it's a sense of stability. And this is, oh, wow, this is leading to the friend here and trust and loyalty. So there is a decision uh, regarding some unclarity, uncertainty, uh, with a complicated situation regarding stability or work, maybe something involved with a female person. Um, definitely we have here matters of um, uh, trust, of loyalty. Um, if it's not necessarily about trust and loyalty, it's about a specific friend. Oh, oh wow, and we see here there is the end. That's exactly what I said here. Like we have, you're turning away, you're turning away from this situation here and this card leads to the next card and also here the cutting away so if it is work related or if it was maybe a long-term friend which you felt kind of like stable with um, it does feel like you're turning your back on something and need to cut something away and there is a transformation or an end i do almost feel like it is more some kind of end coming and also there was a dodgy situation so um, I do feel like it could have been about trust and that you don't know if you can trust this person anymore. And this is causing so much stress and nervousness in your energy field. So it's probably better to turn your back on this and to be like, you know what, I can't have this in my life. This is too stressy. Uh, it's not good for my health because if we have constant stress, that's really not good for our health. So let's see where is this leading to. So you are now about to set boundaries. Um, you need to protect your own space, uh, your own home, your space, what you allow into your space. Um, so there is this sense of loss. But also after the loss, there is a new beginning and there is new clarity coming in. And that's beautiful. And things will flow again. I feel like also your emotions will flow again. If this is work related, this can also indicate finances that, that will flow again. And um, we have the blockage here. Let's see. But there comes movement. So um, it feels like after you have cut away something or transformed something, there will be new clarity about blockages, about these blockages that you are turning your your um, your back onto. Because sometimes we need a bit of space to see things clearly and I do feel like this is going to happen and then you are able to move forward 4, 3, 2, 1, yes you're able to move forward maybe there's even a message coming in whatever this is you are going to move forward which means you're going to leave something behind and also you're going to move towards love which is beautiful so you're going to because also I feel like the heart card is also the card of healing and also your own emotions being really beautifully like your cup is filled. Well, and then we close the circle with coming directly to the decision again. And um, yeah, the circle is closed, as I always say. Um, so that's really interesting. We also have here the uh, friend circle mirror back on a secret and the stress. So there was something like so the whole mid matter of trust and uh, loyalty and don't really you don't really know if you can trust this person i do feel like this is related and again we have the house here which means your immediate environment again this can be a friend this can be a colleague um maybe even someone from your family but i can see this here as well wow all right uh, we have a little change in light don't be surprised but i ran out of storage um while i was already saying my last words <laughs> so um now we have a different light setting but all i wanted to say is i hope you resonated with this reading if so please leave me a comment below a like or subscribe to the channel if you like your own personal reading you can drop me a message either 
on Instagram, uh, Avalon Rituals, link below, um, or you can write me an email as well. I'm also on Facebook, so I'm looking forward to connect soon with you again and um, have a lovely day wherever you are.